I've received so many requests on feature finding that uh, I decided to explain the whole concept uh, to you on our first episode. Now what feature finding is and what it entails is for me to understand what is happening in front of me. There's two very important factors that I can determine by doing feature finding. The first thing is look at the contours of the bottom of the patch of water that I'm fishing. That is very important to me to know and understand where to place my feet and my baits and my rigs. The second very important thing, it will also give me some information on what material the sediment on the bottom is made up of. Rocky area, sandy area, maybe snag, uh, snags area uh, or areas where there are snags, uh, muddy areas and all of those things can be determined by feature finding. Later on I will explain to you the result of feature finding. So that will help you in your planning where to put your feet, where to put your traces, but more importantly putting yourself in the best position to catch a fish. Now, this is the feature finding rig. Now this is a marker float available in certainly all the tackle shops across South Africa. So my main leader line is attached to a marker float. Ensure that your marker float has sufficient buoyancy specifically in windy conditions and when you've got a wavy action on the surface that it can penetrate through that and give you a clear reading where your mark is. This marker float is just protected by a bead, specifically the knot that I use to fix my leader onto my marker float. The knot I will suggest to you is a figure of eight knot. All right, so this is the marker float and now this is the trace. This weight is free running on a barrel swivel on my main line. Now you will notice that there's a small piece of line that I use from my top swivel to the weight. The reason for this is when this settles onto the bottom it can go into the sediment but still the line will release my marker float to the top. Now let's put this into action let me demonstrate to you how to do proper feature finding. Okay, the cast is done and now use a line mate to establish the distance from the shoreline to where your marker has been thrown. So what you need to do is release your line until you see the marker pop. You will know where the distance is. Re um, on your spool you have your little clip, your line clip. Clip the line in and retrieve it on the line mate. Now let's say for instance sake it's 120 meters or 60 meters. Then you just recast it into the line clip and then you're on the same spot. But now you know how far you have cast and now from that specific distance we can start reading the water and the bottom of the water column towards the bank. Now our marker float is being pos positioned at the desired distance. Now we need to release it. What I normally do is I will make a spot on my rod that marks out a foot of distance. So loosen your ratchet and release the line and count three, four, five and the marker has popped. Do you see it? So that is a five foot column of water from the surface to the bottom. Now I have the information on the casting distance that I have started on. All you do now is fasten your ratchet again and reel the marker float until you feel it's on the weight. Then 
mark out an area from where you are standing to the back of the bank 5 meters, 10 meters, whatever you want to um, set the mark at and read the intervals from your marker float to the shoreline when you have done that you walk one two three four five five meters to your mark and with the line tension held i will go to my spot on the shoreline now i know i started at 120 i'm now at 115 meters very important when i pull my line over this distance five meters ten meters whatever i feel what happens to the weight and now this is the interesting part when you get a snack immediately it will register you will feel it when it goes over gravel or rocks you will feel it when it seems to be stucking it's a muddy situation and the same when it's free flowing it can suggest sand and that is how I can determine what pockets of sediment is in front of me again I will release my marker float remember if you started on the 120 we are now on 115 meters and just repeat the process release the line to the mark on your rod three four five six seven eight eight feet immediately i see there's a drop off from the other side towards me now what i'm going to do is i'm going to take the whole area that i'm fishing from and divide it into four sections and do some feature finding on each of that four lines I'm going to transfer that data onto a sheet of paper that I've created and then I'm going to show you how to read that information in helping us make decisions where to put our feet and traces now let me show you the result of the feature finding friends this is certainly the most important thing where to put your rig your bait your traces now you can't do all the preparation, all the planning, all the trouble pitching up your camp and forget about the most important thing, where should I put my bait? Feature finding is certainly for me the most important thing. I'd rather spend an hour or two on this in the beginning of my session and then start fishing and get better results than just going to the water, throwing in blindly and hope for something to swim by and to catch a fish. Let me explain to you the importance of this. Now, this area here represents the bank of the river of the dam. And you will see I've divided into four segments. So I've done feature finding on the edge of my camp, two in the middle and one on the opposite side. And I have made myself a graphic system to help me see what is happening. Now let's look from the water's edge. You will see for the first 30 meters there is a steady drop. The same year, not so year, and very little on the right on the edge of my camping area. Now from the 30 meter to the 60 meter, do you see I've got a hole here? It's smaller, now it's gone. So it seems to me that we've got a situation like this. It's a funnel area that is created by the bottom. On the one side of my camping area, I've got a very nice hole, and that hole is up to 12 feet deep. In the middle of that hole, it's about 40 meters from the bank. Now see the difference to this side. Let's go further. Do you see that this deep area rises up again on 70 meters, but you don't find it in the other places? In the middle, I've got a little indentation here, which is not something big, 
but you can see that I've got a nice slope right through my fishing area. Let's move up to 120 meters. Again, you will see a little dip which rises at 140 meters. So, this is a channel. This channel starts at about 150, 120 meters. Why is this information important to me, friends? Look at this. Whenever I come fishing and I don't take time to know what's happening in front of me, I can cast maybe on this rise here and don't get the, re the, the uh, desired results. Or I can cast into this little pocket which the fish really don't see as a structure. What will I do here? I know that to the one side of my camping area, this is not a place that I would like to fish. There's no features, nothing that interests me, but to the middle and the other side of my camping area, at 120 meters, I've got a drop off. And that drop off goes to about 16 feet. I will concentrate all my feeding efforts on this 120 meter decline that I find right across the majority of my fishing area. Why? When I put my feet here, it will not roll down into that hole. It will stay on this little plateau between the higher ground and the lower ground. So any fish that comes from the back slope into this area or from the shallower water down into that hole, I am covering both sides. Surely that is the place to fish. Do you see the importance? If I throw my stuff, my rigs, my feet 10 meters from this area, I will not be in the position to target fish that goes into the area and out of the area or vice versa. So here I've got a double opportunity to attract fish to my bait. Before that, I will not have the same results or interest shown by the fish. Does that make sense? I hope this information will help you catch more fish, bigger fish, more frequent on your next fishing adventure.